Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Tyler. And welcome to our 550 square foot New York City apartment. It was beautiful to see how all of our things came together in a one space so organically. I think that was also just symbolic of our relationship, how things have, it just, we just have come together in such a beautiful way. Especially all of our plants, have, plants are too. very happy being together as well. So it was, it was a really seamless moving in experience and very clear to see where everything should go because of how our things were set up and where things should go according to the home. So this is our living room. Uh, I think top priority of the space in my mind is a nice kitchen table to have dinner together and a nice cozy couch space to relax in the evenings. We kind of fell in love with it immediately because of the tall ceilings and the light and we're just able to turn it into a little oasis living space. I think a big part too was also for us to be able to host. So I love this space because we can be modular with it and move around furniture as we need to according to who's over, what the event is, how many people, etc. So we have some floor cushions. I have friends over from my book club. We all spread out the floor cushions and have tea here. When we have big parties, we push the table in to open up the space a bit more as well. Emily was able to find this on Craigslist. For a very good deal. <laughs> as well as the two benches. And so it's just been really fun to kind of share the space with others as well and use it as we need to. I think what we love about our space is because it really has all of our favorite things, all of our favorite hobbies. I have all my ceramics here, my tea sets, endless candles, obviously, as you can see here, the plants. This is our media storage, is kind of how we think about it. So we have all of our journals and diaries and notebooks here. And then here is what we call our tech, tech and games. So I think it's like nice to know we have all of our tech things here. And then we have special things, like this is our golden box of all of our love letters and love notes to each other that we keep. Um, and this is a gift from Tyler's mom. My film camera, some tarot cards. This is also a little, little box also from Tyler's mom of little fortunes that you can pick up and have different quotes from famous people of, of beautiful fortunes and, and quotes to remember. So all these little special trinkets, every single thing in here has significance and meaning and is important to us, which is why it's here. And we love our little window display of plants. I also keep a lot of storage in these baskets. So these have all of our blankets and our pillows and some purses and bags. And I love, I love baskets. I'm the weird one always walking around the city with baskets. And another big piece is, are these frames here. So this is actually I really love as well. The frames were also a gift of Tyler's mother. We were about to throw them away. And then I was like, you know, there's something we could probably do with it. So I made a little dried floral art piece out of it. I think it's just like a nice way to frame both Tyler and I coming together. I bought this couch. It's really like a nice day bed that guests can sleep in and it's just a cozy bed. I got this from a guy in, in Williamsburg. And this is my fur, so I think we embellished the couch, which I think is actually really nice to add furs and blankets and pillows um, to kind of change up what the couch actually is underneath, which is also wonderful. This coffee table was the first piece of furniture that my parents purchased when they moved in together and I grew up with it and it's just rock solid. The one other thing we did is install this lantern, a lantern, which sort of just fills out the space. We don't really turn it on often, but it sort of fills out this large open space in kind of a nice way. So this is our mezzanine space. It's taken on a few shapes over the course of the last few months. The space has changed as our lives have changed and it really reflects that. We used to have a desk here where I would take calls and work when I didn't want to go into the office. I used to have many more jars and vases here um, since I'm a florist and an herbalist before I had my studio space. This is all of my clothing and my bike, which is probably my most uh, Important physical possession, very happy that I can be safely inside with me, uh, which is not easy in a New York City apartment to find a place for the bike, uh, skateboards as well. And it also, I think we really like having this bike here because it blocks us off from having this door. And this door is really interesting. It actually goes into the second floor. We've never used it. I've actually never even gone through it or even gone on the second floor. We it have work. it completely locked and shut because we don't, we don't need it. We don't need to be going through this door at all, but it is interesting to know that we have it here. And this may be the, the lamest apartment therapy storage hack, but I've, I've started hanging stuff in bags. This probably is like 100 pounds worth of storage underneath there uh, of just random things. I don't know if that's worth noting, but 
I think that's actually a nice little hack I've been using recently. This used to be in Tyler's kitchen. We almost got rid of it and I was like, actually we could totally use this. So I have different baskets. It has all my different crafts and things in here because this used to be my little workshop. Um, so really love this, this space. This was the table I used to have in my apartment as my only table in my studio, a little tea table. So I love this now because this is now my altar where I do my morning ritual and my prayers and my breath work and my meditation and my tarot cards all in this little witchy corner. I really love our bookshelf now. We really needed more space for books. Originally, all of our books were lining the ground. So now we have a nice dedicated shelving that Tyler built all these shelves for all my jars and herbs. And then we have a nice blend of, of books um, here, which kind of also reflects both of our lives in different ways. So lots of real estate and lots of herbs. <laughs> and so it's a nice, if you look at the titles, all the, they're all very mixed and matched together, but we kind of like it. Um, and I think it, it fits really well in this space. One thing I lo love about having this mezzanine is it creates space between the bedroom and the living room. So it's easier for us to have uh, sort of independence within the space if we're both here. Mm -hmm. uh, I also like just the vantage point it gives you on the, on the living room. You can, we can have these kind of long conversations to one another from far away. So you can kind of like, it, it creates more space in a space that's not that large. And I get to see people walking by when I'm working out. It's like a nice people watching area. Hello and welcome to our bedroom. We really love this space. I think something that we really wanted to keep in mind when designing the bedroom was because it gets so much morning bright light, we really want to keep this space feel fresh and open and light and bright. And I really wanted to explore different types of textures and fabrics to kind of make this space feel organic and comfortable. One thing I love is this headboard, which is, I really love it because it's kind of like a piece of artwork and a headboard at the same time. It was listed as a headboard. I got it from Urban Outfitters. But I just love how it's a sun and it's, it's the wooden rattan that also matches with the desk and the desk chair and also the media stand downstairs. The bed itself, um, it's all linen. I really love linens. These are all naturally dyed cloth from bed threads um, and the bed and the duvet as well. I got these off of Etsy. So many amazing pillow throws to find on Etsy and I really loved these these designs. So something I also really love is indigo, indigo dyed cloths. And I really love to use those over furniture, that are especially furniture that's plain like this bench to really enliven the space and add some beautiful textures and patterns, um, all hand dyed as well and natural. And then my closet is also amazing to have. It has we have lots of full things hang. It's a little bit messy, so I'll just close this. <laughs> but lots of storage in here, and then above here as well, we keep all of our linens and bed, bed things um, to keep them all up there for easy access as well. Storage is really key, and I really love this room because it can feel, you can't see it. And I, as long as things are hidden, I feel good about it. Moving over here, I love this plant so much. This plant I got at Whole Foods for $25 when I first moved back to New York, and it has since blossomed and at least tripled in size. Having the mirror in this corner really opens up the space as well and reflects the light in the morning, which we really love and really opens us up, as well as having the matching arch mirror over here to open up the space. I really love earrings and all my beaded jewelry, so I think having them out on display just inspires me with all the colors, having fresh flowers here always as well. So I really love this little nook. This is our reading nook. And I think it's just such a beautiful little corner piece with our rug and the indigo here. I can just sit and read and look out the window and have like a really nice moment kind of hidden by this, this giant plant here. Um, so this is a really special space, especially in the winter time, it's very cozy. And then we also have this desk. And so this desk is really nice because it's small and it acts as a bedside table while also being a desk. It's nice when we can, if we're both working from home, Tyler can come up here and I can be downstairs taking meetings and we, ha we still have plenty of our own space. Um, and of course, this is the rattan that matches the media stand downstairs. This was from Target, super cheap, this desk. I really like the light furniture in here. It matches the baskets, it matches the overall aesthetic. So we've been kind of like keeping with the light, with the light floors and everything like that. It all, it all blends pretty well, I think. This is our kitchen. Uh, it is a tight little space. I would say it's got everything you need, but it doesn't have an oven, uh, which is sort of a sacrifice. But it does have this convection oven beefed up microwave situation, which is at least a great microwave. We keep other appliances down here. Uh, this sort of under the, the stair area 
offers sort of nice storage down there. We try to keep the, the counter fairly uncluttered and minimal. Emily is a huge jar advocate. We have all types of goods, herbs and teas and chia seeds and flax and maca and other stuff. We love this window that sort of connects the family room and the kitchen. We sort of can talk to each other through there and just provides light to the, the kitchen, which is really nice. So this is our bathroom. It's pretty modest and simple and quite small. Something we really love to have are fresh flowers by the sink. Um, and one storage hack is the over the toilet storage cabinet that I have, which holds all of my toiletries and everything, um, which is really, really helpful and adds so much more space for us to keep things. And Tyler has the medicine cabinet and we share below the sink as well. So we actually can fit a lot of things in there, but it does the job. And I think out of all the things that we would want to deprioritize, it would probably be the bathroom. I work in real estate development. I am a floral designer and founder of a design studio called Flourvoyant, which specializes in floral botanical design for events and weddings and installations. So a lot of my love for plants is reflected not only in my home, but also in my career. And I actually just recently quit my tech job at Google uh, to pursue being with flowers and plants, which is really my true passion. Home is, I think, the place where you feel the safest. I think it's a, a feeling of safety and comfort. I've had many homes. I move often. And I think the process of nesting and making just a space into your home is a really beautiful transformational process. And for me, it really is about being surrounded by the things that you love and being inspired by the things that you love, not only the people who live in it, but also the, all the objects and plants and other living beings that you are connected to and that you are surrounded by every day. I think living with Emily has sort of definitely brought out the best of me as a roommate, uh, but it hasn't forced me to change in any fundamental way which has been a good affirmation of our relationship. But this has been the perfect first apartment for us, definitely. Mm -hmm.